Oh my god. Um, just in another 5k. Uh, two hours 17. Oh my god. Got my poor eyes. My goggles really hurt my face today. <laughs> uh, but I had a disco to swim to, so that was cool. Hi, I'm Emma Stokes and I am training to do the Dark 10K. And today I did my second five kilometer swim. Uh, last week my watch died on me and I was about to give up on my Apple Watch. Uh, but then thankfully some kind people in um, the Outdoor Swimming Society Facebook group suggested um, that I turn some settings off on my watch and put it onto a different mode. And hey presto, I've just finished five kilometers and I've still got 53% battery life. So I'm absolutely thrilled because number one, it means I don't have to spend any more money on a new device. And number two, it means that probably my watch will um, see me through when I do the 10K uh, in September. So today I decided not to use my Tempo Trainer. Um, I've been really pushing myself and if I'm honest, it means that I don't really enjoy my swims and this whole journey isn't really about um, being the quickest swimmer. It's about achieving a swim in an enjoyable way and I want to be able to cruise down the river dart when I do the swim and really enjoy it. It's about the journey really. Um, so I decided to go back to listening to music. So I popped my uh, waterproof MP3 player in and just chilled out when I swam and I absolutely loved it. And I smashed my time from last week. So I did it in two hours 17, which I'm delighted with. Um, and I really, really genuinely enjoyed my swim. It didn't feel like um, two hours, well, two and a quarter hours, just about. It felt um, just really, really good fun. Um, and so I'm absolutely over the moon. I made sure that I had a breakfast about a couple of hours before I swam. And today I had some scrambled eggs, a bagel, some ham and some avocado. And even though I felt really hungry when I got out of the pool, um, now that I, ha I had some naked nibbles, um, if you've not had naked bars, you've got to try them. They're so, so good. Um, big drink of water and I feel great again actually so I think that um, probably another little snack before supper and I'll be fine. What I did find today was that my goggles are still hurting me. I don't know if you can see, I mean god I don't look good right now. <laughs> um, I've got goggle marks, I've got red marks um, so probably I need to rethink my goggles at some point uh, because I've already loosened them off and I can't really loosen them off anymore because if I do they're just not going to sit snugly enough on my face. So that was a lesson today. Um, and uh, what else can I tell you about this week? Well, I did a mile on Friday and I got out of the pool and I felt really disappointed because I'm desperate to break the 40 minute mile. Um, and I didn't. And I had my tempo trainer on. Um, but I really struggled um, on Friday to get into my swim. I felt like my breathing was all over the place. I, yeah, I just really didn't enjoy the swim. Um, but when I look back on my app, my activity app um, on, my, on my phone, I realised that only about five weeks ago, I was taking about 45 minutes to do a mile. So to bring it down to 40 minutes is pretty outstanding actually, <laughs> even though I do say so myself. Um, so I've got to stop giving myself a hard time and that's why I was determined today just to really enjoy my swim. Um, so yeah, I am improving and I've still got bags and bags of time before September. So I'm feeling really, really positive. I um, had an opportunity put to me this week. Um, out of the blue, I got a Facebook message asking me if I might be interested in doing a channel swim, part of a relay team. And initially I was like, oh my God, no, like I've never even swum in the sea. Um, but the more I think about it, the more I think it could be possible. Um, but what I don't want to do is ruin my swimming experience. So, because by doing the channel swim means I've got to get out there in some seriously cold water and do a completely different type of training. So. 
I don't know whether it will even happen. The, the girl that's looking to fill her team may not pick me. Um, but how lovely to have that opportunity arise um, and to even consider it as well. I'm thinking probably in my sensible head that what I'll do is um, try and do it next year and just focus this year on becoming more confident in open water, um, enjoy the rivers and lakes and then maybe take it up a notch and go to the sea next year. Um, so yeah, that's where I am really. I, um, I'm going to stick at 5k again next week. I would love to be able to do the same time, if not shave another minute off. And um, then by that time, I think the following week will mean that the Lido's open and I can start to see how my times differ by swimming in a 50 metre pool as opposed to a 20 metre pool because I seriously don't turn efficiently. I'm definitely wasting loads of time. And I'm feeling that just as I'm getting into my stroke, it's time to turn and that's a bit frustrating. So that's good. And um, yeah, so, oh, I've also ordered, I love my waterproof MP3 player, but the whole kind of putting it in my ears and having to put my swimming hat over to keep them in means that I do feel it and, um, water inevitably gets behind the buds that you put in your ears and then sometimes I can't really hear the music all that well. So I've ordered a uh, bone conducting mp3 player so apparently it just sits here on your temples and you can still hear it really well and they're, they're usually about £100 so that's why I haven't bought one but there was an offer on Facebook and I got it for 30 quid. So if it turns up and it's not a complete scam I will be giving that a go and then I'm going to do a little review and comparison of um, the two waterproof mp3 players if anybody's interested. So that's all from me this week. Uh, I'm going to try and do three swims next week and stick with my 5k. So watch this space. I am literally so hungry. I'm not even dressed. And I'm eating. But that's not a bad thing, is it? I'm a little drink. Don't forget to subscribe.